Uh, we're on our private, we're on our cell phone while we're on the clock working. No, I'm going live so you can, so we can video as well. We two video people together. Oh, sir. Hey, were you aware, Russ? Russ. Yeah, um, were you aware that Maya, is it the same Maya Dow that works at the uh, school board? That is correct. Do you know she deletes public records? I, I did say, well, you know, understandably, maybe you don't want to be recorded, but that's, that's kind of what's going to happen when you're stepping into this type of position. You know, like you just mentioned, she's trying to go for city councilwoman, so... Uh, you are going to be in the public eye, and you know, people absolutely have the right to, you know, talk to you and ask you questions. Some, some oh, storm. hey, Miss Maya Dow, can we get a word, please? She probably won't want to talk to you. Oh, are we still deleting public records? No, and you want to run for city council? Hi, I'm being harassed by um, a gentleman from Georgia Transparency. I'm here at the municipal building, and he's recording me, and I really need a police officer to come here now. Okay, are you just standing outside, or are you in a vehicle? I'm standing outside my vehicle and he's video recording me. I'm here at the municipal building in LaGrange, Georgia. I'm leaving the city council meeting. Mike, please hurry up because I'm like I'm triggered at this point. So Sam, it's already in here, the officers are already on the way. They're already on the way out there. He's literally after the whole situation coming out to the board of education building, he's been literally at me. He has people calling my job, leaving messages cussing me out, all type of stuff. And now he's here at this city council meeting and I'm coincidentally here and, like, he's trying to get, you know, get me to talk on camera. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, his followers are lunatic. They're crazy. I mean, it's just not fair. Like, he's literally harassing me at this point. <laughs> well, he's gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to make sure I file a report because he, at this point, he's harassing me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, good evening, Officer Mailer. How are you? All right, how are you? Yeah. Um, is the meeting over? Yeah. So what happened? He was in the meeting and just... Yeah. He has his camera out again, of course, and he's video recording me and asking me if I have a comment. I don't have time. You like, don't have to talk he's to him. He's videoing me while I'm in my, like, getting in my car. Now people know what type of car I drive. His followers have been calling my job from the previous situation. Like, at this point, he's harassing me. This has to be a rat harassment. This can't be normal. So, this guy we're very familiar with. Um, have you heard of him before? The That's the reason. Yeah. Like, he's because of the situation when he came to Troop County School System. Right. I was the person in the video that recorded, quote-unquote, recorded him, and I did well, some, some say I deleted the video. Can you provide well, I don't me with a copy of that? that information. I don't have that anymore. That's been deleted. You deleted a public record? But, like, like I don't have time for this. Like, people threatening my life. His followers are calling my job. He's here. Like, this is harassment at this point. Y'all have to see this. Was he targeting you specifically? Literally. Okay. Speak, saying my name. Literally asking me to give a comment. I don't have time to talk to him. What do you want to comment about? About how can I be a, a candidate for city councilman, which that has nothing to do with him, anything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know, I mean, I guess I guess he's here because this is a, you know, a public meeting. I guess he's here because this is a, you know, public meeting, but like, I don't have time for this. This is harassment. Y'all have to see this as harassment. Yeah, and um, this guy, um, we're familiar with him. He goes around, like you said, he, he, you've interacted with him already at the school school uh, board and uh, he, he'd go this is what he does for a living um, I can take all your information what, what uh, what's your name Maya M-A-I-Y-A Dowell D-O-W-E-L-L yes okay it's Maya what's your birthday okay. and how about a good phone number for you 706 okay and so um, 
how was he in the meeting? How long is it? What time was the meeting? What time did the meeting start? starts at 530, but I don't know what time he came because I was sitting towards the front, so and he was sitting at the back. Mm -hmm. So when the meeting, a full, full meeting adjourned, I get up to leave, and he's standing there with his camera, with his camera in my face asking, like, I didn't even, I asked for him to get him away from me, and that was it. So I just literally just walked out of the building. Like, like I said, I don't have to do this. I've heard the spiel about him being this guy, da 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 I don't care. You know, this is harassment to me. This so is, why, why was he asking you a question specifically? Do you because I'm from the previous video. Okay. I'm from the situation. He's, he's. He's tit hurt because he couldn't get anything off the whole situation. It was, you know, the situation null and void. Nothing happened, and he can't. The previous video at Troop County School. Yeah, it is null and void. There's nothing he can do about it. The lawyers beat the case. Like there's nothing he can do. So now he's going around and harassing. Him. Okay, so he's wanting a statement about the previous incident. I or now he's, I'm, okay. I'm not even listening to know. what yeah. he says. I don't care because honestly, and I want this on record. If he three times the charm. I'm shooting a warning shot and it's not missing. I'm dead ass serious. At this point, I'm frustrated, I'm triggered, and I'm over it now. Did you file a report last this time? This is why I'm calling you. Okay, so you didn't do a report last time? No, because I didn't think that it would be this serious. Right, okay. Like, this is child's Do you know what date that other incident was, if you could recall? September, it was sometime in September. Okay. Like, I'm literally standing here so he can't get my tag number because I don't want anybody, you know, like like I said, his followers are, the people that were in the insurgent, those are his followers. The people that were what? If the insurgent or January 6th, they have to be his followers okay. because they call, they call me harassing me, calling me all type of names, like, they're literally calling my job, leaving voicemail. I have a voicemail right now for someone calling and harassing me. What do they say in the voicemail? What's insurgent? The, the people that went to the Capitol. Oh, okay. And so they're calling your your personal they're calling cell phone. My job and my my the messages that they leave are going to my email. Okay. So they're literally there. I have no choice but to listen to them. This is one that was just left on Sunday. So this is what I have to listen to. What? Okay. So it's a bit, it's like you're a stupid bee? Ignorant bitch, yeah. So in September, um, I'm not too familiar with what exactly happened. Uh, on that incident, but what was the gist of his The gist of the situation was he came into the building, which we are a public building. He came in, I told him, you can come in the building, but you have to go around the circumference of the building. You can't go down the extended hallway. You can't, um, you can't, you know, go down the extended hallway. That was exactly my words. He does the, he does the ladder and goes down the hallway. So I call him back up to the front and say, sir, you cannot be in the, in the offices. He actually goes in other personal offices with the camera on other co-workers and if I wouldn't have done that you know I had to retrieve him and ask him to come to the front and then mm -hmm. it's this whole scene this whole situation because now he's still recording so I get my phone as if I'm recording him and now he's saying well if you're recording me this is a public record so in my defense if you're recording me I feel like I can record you so that doesn't that scratch out the whole situation of you recording whatever you're recording because if I'm recording you but it really doesn't matter. That's, you know, neither here nor there. It's yeah. a situation where he's posted the video. Like I said, he's gone to the government building. He's come to us. And yeah, he's, he's just posting the jail. He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone everywhere. everywhere. And he's posting these videos. And his followers are continuing to write harassing comments. His followers are on, on his YouTube page saying that they're going to do a mass shooting at the building. I mean, it's just so much going on where it's unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, now there's people Performance. That's what I'm it's saying. It's, it's going to happen again because he's now recorded this, and now I'm back on YouTube again, where they're going to continue. The cycle never stops. It's never going to stop. And like I said, three times is the charm, and I want this on record. I'm telling you. Well, we I mean, can definitely go. Dressed I, up in this, you know, I might look like I'm together, but I'm. 
Well, at this what point, we can do, a we'll, mule gets tired. What we can do is we can, um, I'll document this, you know, and what, what you're explaining to me what happened this past September. Um, and I can document all this and, and you know, once it's, once the report's put together, if you wanted to go to the extent of getting um, a protective order against him, then he can't come anywhere near you. That's and that's what I'm going to do at this point. That, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what I can do is I can doc, I'm going to take all this information you're telling me, put it in a report, and you can go get that report and go request a protective order so he can't be within 200 yards from you. So we cannot be coming up at you, making these videos, and he, he'll no longer be, you know, accessible for his whatever he's doing, you know. Um, but I understand where you're coming from, and I understand the frustration and irritation about that and getting these calls. So um, they're calling you at work? They're calling me at my work. Okay. Because your work phone's available public? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he's posted that on Facebook. I mean, he's posted that on his YouTube page. I mean, that's public anyway because it's a school system. Right. Of course, we need, you know, and uh, unfortunately, I'm the front desk clerk. Yeah. So, what is your um and uh, Miss Maya? What's your what's your job title? Or your position? Uh, system wide, sec- system wide receptionist. System wide receptionist. Okay. And so essentially, you had to deal with him when he showed up at yeah. your at your work. Yeah. And so now he's come here. Um, did he say anything else in the meeting in regards to anybody else that you noticed, or wasn't until the meeting was over? To, he talked to um, Dr. Woodley. He talked to Councilman Leon, trying to get comments, and neither one of them said anything. But like I said, this has nothing to do with you know like. Just go home. Yeah. Well, I think that's the best route, saying you have no comment, you know, and just, just I shut didn't him say down. Anything. I just flipped. Yeah. That's the best thing. Just shut him down. You know, don't give him anything to to keep taking away at. I mean, it, it's, that's what he, I know it's, that's a help that that's what he does, but yeah, he's kind of a, uh, almost like a annoyance, and uh, don't let him do that to you. But I'm going to go ahead and document all this, um, and then you can... You know, seek out a protective order if you wish. Okay. Keep him away from you. So where do I need to go about getting a protective order? Well, I'm going to, let's see, let me make sure I got all this information. Um, so, when I put it in there. Okay. Hello. How are you? So. Pay very close attention to this image. It's very important in the future of this video. In September, you know, you had told him, like, well, you can't, you know, following right. what your guidelines are. I was, I was are. on your side. <laughs> Because, you know, for the simple fact, there's not a woman on City Council. Thank I'm you. great with Quay, too, yeah, but yeah. there's not a woman on City Council. <laughs> Thank you. Girl power. Um, but, you know, it's just, uh, you know, you're you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And, and, and you know, you have, you usually come around here and go into the private areas and, I, and offices. And, you know, there's information that could be out that, you know, yeah. is, isn't necessary for him to see. And so you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. So, um, and. I can understand how annoying that would be, having him come around, and then having to see him again. Yeah. So you haven't had any interaction with him since September? No, because my office has literally put me in a whole other department to keep me from him, come, because at one point he started coming like every other Friday to see if I was at the front desk. Oh, so that was after September? Me, yeah. Okay. So they kept me in HR for like four weeks. I was there in hiding, doing other stuff. And like I said, still, and once I came back to my desk, People were still calling, harassing, and as you see, like they're still calling as of Sunday. Oh, last Sunday, okay. So the people that are harassing you from his videos are essentially his followers. Those are his but followers. He made the right. video, and now right. they're and he's telling people to call. It's literally in the caption of the YouTube video to call. Okay, yeah, I'm not familiar. I I've seen some of his. I saw the one that he did at the sheriff's office, you know, and I've seen some of the other ones he's done, and he's interacted with several of us from uh, from the police department as well. So he's putting comments for them to, for his followers to contact you. Right. Mm-hmm. And he's giving my full, well, it's not spelled correctly, but he's giving my full name. Okay, is there any other, anything else that you want me to make sure I'm documenting the report? Um, no, I'm just going to file whatever, you know, I just need to know where do I need to go. And I'm going to file this because I, I can't take this anymore. Okay. No, you haven't had any issues at your home or anything like that? No. Okay, so it's all calling the public work number. These messages are coming to you by, by phone and they're going to shoot into your email because that's how it's set up. Um, how about anybody else come in then today? But has anybody else come found you um, at the no. uh, Troop County besides no. after they moved you? Okay, so he was, he was coming back, we said, every other yeah, Friday for a while. he was coming back every other Friday for a couple of, you know, a couple of Fridays until, like, um, he was contacted by the attorney, you know, pretty much just telling him, you know, or whatever, and he have signage now where he can literally stay only in that focal point. But at this point, I'm, I don't want you in my space. I'm right. literally tr- triggered. I'm literally, like, 
shaky. Okay, yeah, let see. me get some of the emotions that like, you're feeling. I want to document all I this. I literally because... have to go to a therapist because of him. Like, I literally have, because I'm afraid. Like, I'm literally, and I don't want to sound racist when I say this. I'm scared of white men because of the power that they have. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of the terror that they they sue on people. Just, you know, anything could have happened to me, and I'm not protected. There's no bulletproof glass that I sit behind. There's glass, but it's only just the COVID glass. So I'm literally just open season. So you're feeling super intimidated. Right. And for someone to say in the comments, that like, well, which white, building are they talking about? The, the um, school board building. When white men say they're going to do something, they do it. And I, I'm terrified. When was that comment about the mass shooting? I don't know like what what actual date it was on, but it's literally chronicalized on the comments. Like, but so I was think that it, it was reported, so it had to be taken down by YouTube. Okay. But, Sometime after September's incident, right. there was a comment right. about they should do a mass shooting at the school district. Okay. Like, he he just terrifies me. What's the address of the school district? One hundred most dangerous. Walk into the teacher's room. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'll document that you're shaking while you're speaking with me, um, that you have to currently go to a therapist, and you feel afraid, intimidated. Um, do you want me to mention that you do feel intimidated because he's a white I, male yes, and the power yes, that he's displaying yes. is intimidating? Right. And I'm also going to note that when I met you, you were literally standing here hiding your tags so that you couldn't look no. me. Okay. Well, I'm going to put all this together so that you'll have some documentation, because that's what we need, documentation, documentation, right? So once we get this report typed Thanks. up, you'll be able to um, get a copy of that, and then you can take it to the judge and see if you can get some sort of protective order because you're feeling fear. And that's what that's what mm -hmm. that I would suggest, okay? Um, and I know just saying, well, that's what he does, it doesn't help you. Yeah, that doesn't help me at all, because yeah. I've heard that for the past Yeah, so what we got to do is we got to keep him away from you. And that's <laughs> what we really need to do. And so if we're able to get that, he will be notified that he cannot come near you. And if he does, that'd be a violation of the protective order. He'd be arrested. That he would be arrested for. So, and then that, that's the route that you know. If he's pushing you to go to, then that's what we need to do. Okay, we can't have somebody making you feel unsafe. Right. Um. All right. So I'll put this report together tonight. Okay. Um, I'll be able to do that. You'll be able to pick it up probably in a couple of days at the police department, and then go down to the court and see what you need to do and uh, present information. If you have, if you can provide. Um, you know the video, anything that you can get your hands on, just to state your case. I know he's case. gonna post it in, in the next day. I yeah. So any you know, any do, any other documentation that you can provide as well, um, maybe things that your work has done, just to you know back up what, what you're stating to show what what's happened since September, and now here we are, you know, eight months later right. or, or whatever. Um, I'm I'm gonna gonna get get that. Get some protection for that. Yeah. Okay, keep it, keep it. I'm clear. Thank you. Keep it. Okay, so here's the case number. Um, I'm Officer Mailer, and again, I'm just going to document, you know, I don't have all the details from September's incident, but I have enough to put together, you know, what occurred, um, but it's, it's got you, it's got you on edge. Hello? Hi, good evening. This is Officer Mailer. Is this Russ? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Russ. How are you tonight? Good, good, good. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. Staying inside right now. It's a little chilly out. <laughs> I hear you. I wanted to touch base with you. Sure. Um, I got some information that the police were called on me at the city council meeting for harassment. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, can you tell me? Yeah. So um, now, Russ, what's your last name? I've I'm, I've heard of you, but I've never met you specifically. What's your last name, Russ? Oh, it's uh, Pickron, P-I-C-K-R-O-N. I'm with Georgia Transparency. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. Um, so, yeah, I was called out there. Um, I just responded recently. And Miss um, Maya was feeling that um, she felt like you were recording her and she felt like you, she was being harassed. And so I kind of just heard her out. And, you know, I was just... I'm going to document what she's stating to me, but, you know, as far as any criminal charges, I don't really see any. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to... I was going to ask you, um, yeah, I was going to ask you because uh, somebody nominated her to fill a vacant city council seat. So, she want, and she's going to run for city council, but she doesn't believe in the First Amendment and she doesn't want to be recorded in public. Yeah, and so here's the thing. That's, you know, I was just I was just talking with my, um, my lieutenant about it, and I'm thinking, well, she's trying to step into a very 
public role. Um, she's going to be in the public eye. Uh, these are expectations that are going to happen. You know, you, I mean, so I, I don't see any, you know, criminal uh, concerns at this point. And I, you know, I, I did say, well, you know, understandably, maybe you don't want to be recorded, but that's, that's kind of what's going to happen when you're stepping into this type of position. Mm-hmm. You know, like you just mentioned, she's trying to go for city councilwoman. So, uh, you are going to be in the public eye, and you know, people absolutely have the right to, you know, talk to you and ask you questions. I mean, that's that's kind of what you're signing now, up for. Make any, uh, now, does she, now, does she make any comment that I made any threats or anything? Oh no, sir, no, no. She just she just okay. said you're asking for statements. Recorded, everything, the whole encounter is recorded. I didn't even get close to her. Um, yeah. Down there by her car, I was up all the way up on the ramp. No, um, the only thing, Ross. I'm going to be publishing the video, and every it'll it'll explain everything in the video. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you know, her big concern was that I guess some of her followers have been contacting her, um, but she didn't say that you've done anything specifically other than recording these videos. Um, but well, again, that, uh, when you're that's, uh, that's that's a job for y'all. Um, if people are or people are contacting her and harassing her and threatening her, that's a job for the police to find out who it is. Because when Fox News or NBC does a story on a public official or anything, mm-hmm. don't you think those public officials get phone calls as well? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I, you know, I'm I'm not I'm yeah. not saying anything t- negative towards you, Russ, at all. Um, and I, and, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I oh yeah, understandably. I, 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 Understandably, this is what she's signing up for. So, um, you know, you're, you're going to need to have a little bit of a, I don't want to say tougher skin, but kind of, you know, I mean, we get criticized all the time. And, um, you know, being in a, um, in a position of, of this caliber, you're, you're going to have people, you know, wanting to talk to you and, and ask you questions and you have to be able to do so. Or, you know, maybe it isn't the right path, you know. So um, I don't I don't see really any issues. All I'm going to do is just kind of document what her concerns were. Um and um, you're right, if she is getting, uh, you know, other issues are arising from some of the videos that are being posted, then that's something that, you know, we can look at further. But as far as you and your interactions today, no, I mean, she didn't say anything. You didn't do anything. Now, I have, I have made this statement before, and I welcome it. If any public officials believe anybody in the city of LaGrange that works for the public are getting harassing and threatening phone calls, I urge... The city, I, I urge the LaGrange police to contact me. I will cooperate in any way, shape, or form to provide any information to catch whoever's doing it because I don't condone harassment. I don't condone threats. I don't like it. Right. No, that's wonderful, and we appreciate I that. Document, I document the truth, and I document and I expose corruption. That's right. That's right. Um, and I have no problem with the Grange PD. I really don't. I have, I've never had a bad interaction with y'all. Y'all have always uphold, uh, upheld your oath. You've always supported the Constitution. Um, I'm just upset because if had I known you were called out there, I would have stayed. I wouldn't have took off. I didn't know the police were called. Um, I would have stayed and waited for you to get there if I had known you were. That's what kind of really ticked me off. Ah, uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Well, you know, and and like you said, your interaction today with her will be posted. So it's not. Um, I mean, you didn't do. You didn't make any threats. You didn't, you know, assault her. You didn't do anything to her. Um, in fact, she. Took, no, I asked her. I was like, well, what did? Her except ask her. Except ask her questions that. That you didn't. Would ask her if she's on the panel. You know, if she's on the city council, which she's running for, and which she got nominated for, and she's a public employee at the school board. Right. Right. Yeah, she told me that. Yeah. So she's going to get asked questions by the public. If she doesn't like being criticized and asked questions by the public, she's in the wrong profession. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was kind of thinking as well. You know, it's that 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 tough skin. You know, I mean, if you're feel, you know, you might and you might feel a certain way, but hey, you got to roll with it. If that's you know, you know, yes, ma'am. In the position you that she's in. How much how much uh, criticism I get from other channels that don't like what I'm doing. That's neither here nor there. And, uh, <laughs> I really appreciate you calling. And is Officer Mueller? Uh, Mueller. It's M E A L E R. Mueller. Mueller. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for calling me back. I really do appreciate it. Um, I, I really do. Had I known you were responding, I would have. Uh, I would have stayed and waited for you. I don't like to run from y'all. I don't like to run from the police. <laughs> I know the police are called on me. I'll stay and I'll wait. Yeah, she, you know, she, like I said, she was just feeling like she was being, and that's what the call was, that she was feeling like she was being harassed, and 
I said, well, you know, yeah, he, he has the right to, he has the right to ask you. Don't trump the rights of the people, and she's calling people with badges and guns to try and violate somebody else's rights because of the way she feels. Right, right. 